Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the Amazon Flex. So this is a tiny, tiny, tiny little speaker, smart assistant, um, echo, if you will. Um, so I'm going to be doing a full unboxing, do a quick hands-on, and then I'm going to do a full review. So let's check it out. Okay, let's do a quick hands-on, take a look at this flex. Um, I'm going to be putting it to the full test, so you'll have a full review coming up in the next part, but let's just quickly go ahead and look around. This is really cool right here. That's a USB port, and it looks like you can add um, a nightlight or a smart sensor. And the smart sensor is what I'm going to be buying, and I'm going to be doing a full review on that in the next video. Because that, I believe, is what's going to make or break this device. Um, it looks like there's an indicator light there. That is the kill mic switch. This is the button press if you don't want to say um, her name. And just a regular plug right there. This is such a simple, compact, easy device. Um, I actually have two of these now, so this is the second one. But I'll be going through a full review like I said in the next video so not much to this but hopefully it performs as advertised 
Okay, so I really like the fact that you can plug this thing directly into your wall socket. You can plug it in upside down like I have it in this video, or you can plug it in right side up. It does not matter. Um, I do really like the indicator light on the front. It is nice and bright and it alerts you very quickly. Um, and there's actually a way to adjust the brightness of it. So let's go ahead and open the Alexa app, click on your device, and then go scroll down and you're gonna click on LED display. And that's where you can change the brightness. So if this is in a baby's room or in a room that you want it to be nice and dark, you can actually turn that thing really low. But another thing is that the speaker on it is really, really terrible. Um, I mean, we used it in my fiance's bathroom and she could barely hear it over a shower. So it is not to be used for any kind of music at all. It sounds worse than most smartphones. But there is a fix and we're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. So if you go ahead and open up your Alexa app, and then you click on your device, and then you click on Bluetooth devices, and this is where you're gonna be able to pair with a Bluetooth device. So I've paired it with my sound bar, and um, that will allow me to have really good sound quality coming out of my Alexa. Um, and this is just showing you how, if you have not paired it yet, you go ahead and click on that, and it will go ahead and pair it up for you and find your device. Um, but I don't fully know what that thing is on the side. I've looked at it several times. I probably could look it up, but I'm not going to. Um, the microphones on the front are really, really nice. Um, they pick up your voice, and the uh, Echo devices have a good way of judging where you are in the room based on how loud your voice is in the microphone. But I do have a little toddler, and he likes to pull this thing out of the wall. Um, so that's the only caveat if you have a little kid um, running around you got to teach him not to pull those things out of the wall um, which is easier said than done sometimes okay so final thoughts on the amazon echo flex i think this is a phenomenal device i think that if you know what you're buying you're going to be very very happy if you don't know what you're buying you're probably not going to like it and you're probably going to send it back so let's talk about what this thing is. This thing is designed to bridge the gap between one main device and another. So if you have a spot in your house where you're calling out Alexa very loud and you're screaming and you're losing your mind, you probably need one of these there, right there, right in that spot. And it's going to allow you peace of mind. You're gonna be able to sit on your couch, sit on your chair, be in your garage, wherever you are, and you're gonna be able to command your house with your voice. This thing is not designed to play music loud. It's not designed to have bass. It's not designed to be crisp. It's not designed for any of that. All it's designed for is to give you little commands back once you say your command. That way you know, boom, or whatever the tone is, um, that way you know that it's turned on your lights or opened your garage or whatever it may be. Another thing that is super amazing about this device is that it plugs into a wall outlet. There's no other devices out there like that that is unto itself. And I'm super, super excited about the smart sensor and the, the nightlight that plugs into the bottom. I think that the smart sensor alone is going to be a game changer. It's really going to change the way that these devices work because no other Echo device out there has ever had the ability to plug in a USB um, accessory. So hopefully Amazon allows for third-party developers and creators to make devices that plug into the bottom of these things and we can do a whole bunch more. All right, there you go. That's the review. That's the Amazon Flex. I am a big proponent of Amazon. I should let you guys know right now, as you probably know from my previous videos, um, but my house is covered in these little devices. Um, I definitely love them and I will have more reviews coming up on them. I'm going to be updating my kitchen um, Echo Show. I believe I have the first generation, so I'm hoping to get the third generation when it comes out. So I'm waiting because the second generation is good. I just don't like it as much as what I'm hoping the third generation will bring. So fingers crossed that my first gen lasts that long because they don't 
Um, they, they don't, uh, they don't, I don't know if they have a great lifespan. Let's put it that way. Mine's already starting to do a little bit of weird stuff, but anyways, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did like subscribe down below and I'll have more videos to come. But once again, I thank you so much for watching my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.